Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Angel Handmade Paper Craft. Today I am working with Whimsy Stamps and I am using one of their rubber stamps. This is Peking Dragon. I thought he was absolutely gorgeous so I have uh, stamped him up using some um, Express Set Blending Card and some Memento Tuxedo Black and I will be inking him up or colouring him up I should say with my Copic markers. So I'm using some colours today that I don't um, normally use. It's a blend that I've never really played with before. So as you can see they weren't as easy to blend together as I was hoping that they would be. Um, I had to use the tip to tip technique on the lightest colour and the medium colour just to get them to blend perfectly. I do apologise I didn't realise with all my hard work that I had actually pushed my image out of camera view. So I have super sped up some of it so that you don't have to watch me off screen for so long but I wanted to leave all the colouring in there so you can see what I am doing. So I'm just working my way through. So I'm using some BG markers. So this is BG 70, 72, 75 and 78. So the biggest problem that I had was blending the BG70 and the 72, um, but once I used the tip to tip technique it made it just that little bit easier to get those colours to blend together. And then I'm just pulling out the rest of the colour for that lightest area. So it did take me quite a while to get his face to the colours that I wanted, but it turned out perfect so I'm quite happy. So I'm just working on his head now. Blending all of that out, using some more of that tip to tip technique. So what I am doing is I'm using the lightest colour and carefully touching the next colour up and then I'm putting that colour to the paper and as you start pulling it out, it pulls the colour off the tip of the marker. Now, if you don't have any left on that lightest marker, you can just scribble it off on a piece of paper, it'll come straight off. It will not ruin your markers. Here I am using my Zero Colour Blender to add some um, like uh, stippling technique to his tail and then I've just gone back in with the darkest colour as well to add some of that. And now I'm going in with some Y markers. I'm using Y04, 13 and 35. Adding in the darkest areas. And blending it all back out with the lightest marker. Now I'm going in to do the coins that are in the treasure chest. So I'm using some YR markers. I'm using 20... YR21, 24 and 27. That's my go-to gold blend. If you were wanting to do a larger area, I would also throw in the YR20 and that will give you another tone as well. Now I am colouring the what I, I see to be the metal outside of the box. So I'm using some C markers. I'm using C2, C3, C5, C7. So my C2 marker um, needs to be refilled so it did take a little bit of extra blending that's why I pulled the C3 marker in and then I'm going through going darkest to lightest on those small sections so just working my way through getting all that blended and now I'm going in I wanted my treasure chest to be wooden I, that's the way that I viewed the box with all of those little wooden I don't know what you call it, like the markings of the wood. So I've gone in with my darkest colour first and mapped out all of those areas and then I'm going down to the lightest. So just pulling all of that colour out section by section and then I'll go back in with my lightest brown and blend it all out. Ooh, just noticed I'm a little bit short of breath today. I think I need to uh, go grab my Ventolin. So now I'm working on the bottom section of the treasure box, or treasure chest. Once again doing the same thing here. I've just gone over that silver a little bit so I've just used my colour splendor just to quickly pull that colour back out. Not a big deal. That's the best thing about using alcohol markers is you can so easily fix something if you need to with that colour splendor. Pulling out the middle and now going back in with my lightest colour to blend all of those browns out. I'm going to add some shadowing underneath the box and that will be my colouring pretty much done. So if you don't want to watch the card making this will be the end for you. If you want to stick around and watch me turn this little guy into a card keep watching. I'm doing that now. So I am using the Bow Bunny The Avenues collection. I did pull out a few sheets here that I thought would go with my image, but I didn't end up using all of them. Ok, 
page. So I somehow did lose a little bit of my footage. I do apologize for that. Um, when I plugged my um, SD card into my computer, one of the files had somehow become corrupted. So you didn't get to see everything, but this is the card process of what I could give you. So I've just cut a few bits and pieces up from that paper pad using my Caterpillar Pro and I also did use my Tim Holtz guillotine to cut some of those smaller sections, cut my sentiment down which I did emboss onto some American Crafts cardstock. Just using some Zing embossing powder and I'm now going in with my Uniball white gel pen just to add some final details in. Loving my white gel pen at the moment, I seem to be using it on every card I've noticed. So that's it guys, I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all soon, bye.